Fox and Flower. Ready, 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 ready. Finish him. Let's go backwards. From where? No, I guess it's forward. We want to come full circle. In the polar coordinates, we want to take an X and Y world and turn it into a polar world. Sitting on top of the world. I'm going to pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on it. That's funny for a little guy named Wayne to do. But not funny for me to do. What am I doing? I'm taking this XY world where this is my X and that is my Y and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna transform it into my polar world. Enough messing around. I need to go and I need to found <laughs> my R. How do I find my R? X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. Thank you, sweet spirit. X squared plus Y squared is R squared. So I need to go and I need to find my R. My X is a deuce squared plus a minus deuce squared is, wait for it, R squared. So four plus four is R squared. So eight is R squared. Now, I'm gonna take the square root of both sides, but I'm not gonna forget the plus and minus two root two, that's equal to r. Now, I'm just gonna assume that my r is positive, so I'm gonna cross out the negatives, even though they make for better pictures. When I reduce the eight, we see eight is two times four, the square root of four is two, that's how that two got out there. I don't have to explain that to you because you're watching this video and that's all behind us. Now, over here, I need to find my theta. In order to find my theta, I'm gonna use this quotient and the inverse tangent. So, I go and I do do that. I'm taking a look at the tangent of theta that's equal to my y over my r. Wait, what is that? The tangent theta is y over r. <laughs> Thank you, sweet spirit. That's minus 2 over 2. I'm doing an old K-Rock bit. You'd have to be around for a real long time to know that. Now we're trying to see where our tangent is a minus 1. Ay, Dios mio. So that's when the x's and the y's are the same. So does that here? No. Does that here? Yes. And also down there. Let's just take the first one. This is something over 4. That's 2 pi's over 4. That's 3 pi's over 4. Let me do that. Could I have also done minus pi over 4? Sure. I could have. Then I would have used that negative r. Could I have also used, boom, over 4? That's uh, 8 minus 1. 7 pi's over 4? Sure. In that last video, we've seen that these polar coordinates are not unique. I'm just taking the first positive one, that 3 pi's over 4. What do I have left to do? I have left to make my point. My point is that a polar point is in the terms of r and theta. So this video is probably going to get trolled so hard. You troll so hard, but you don't understand me. My r is 2 roots of 2, and my theta gonna be 3 pi's over 4. So then that's 3 pi's over 4. Bring it R. Cringe sight. Whatever with your troll faces.